Glenn, we've had the invite to Scotland today to ATM. What is it you do here? We manufacture press tools for the automotive industry. The company has grown substantially over the last several years and we've been getting into the bigger tooling market. So we're working for the major tier one suppliers in the automotive industry. As such, we've expanded and we've built a new press shop. We've invested in a thousand ton press and then we've also invested in machinery in the workshop. Yeah, well you've purchased this CAFO. Why did you buy it? We were typically subcontracting the work out because everything was getting bigger. We needed a bigger machining centre, so we thought we'd use a cost that we, was, we were using for the subcontract work and we'd bring it in-house and we purchased the CAFO machine. And the CAFO, you know, it's quite new to the UK. They send a lot of machines, but it's still quite a big investment. So why did you go for the brand? It was a machine that didn't spring to mind. It was something that was mentioned to the director down at the Mac convention. And when we looked into it, it was a major competitor to all the other well-known brands and the price was a major swaying factor in why we chose this machine. And you've had this machine a little over 12 months now, how have you found it? It's been invaluable to us actually because of what we were doing and the way we were moving forward. The machining centre has been working non-stop since we bought it and it's been very very good. And what extras did you go for on the machine? I know you've got a couple of the heads as well. Yeah, we've got the 90 degree head and we've got the universal head. Again, this was something that we needed for progressing with the business. Again, it's proven invaluable to what we're doing. So it's a large machine, it's given you extra capacity in terms of size, multiple heads as well, so flexible machine. Very flexible, and it's, it's doing exactly what we wanted it to do. If you've got too much work, would you buy another? Without a doubt, yes. Definitely look at a machine of this size or bigger. Simon, ATM, very happy with the machine. That's right, yes. Uh, it's the first machine of a double column size that we brought into the, into the country. It's a 5 metre by 2.2 .2 between the columns. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been in 13 months now and they've been very happy with it. Mm. What specification is this? Uh, this is um, a universal machine. So we've got um, a standard spindle, a universal head and a 90 degree head. Um, the customer specified 31i fan at control and also linear scales. So it's a big machine, how big is it? Right, we've got uh, five meters in X, and I think on this one, 2.2 in Y, mm -hmm. and then uh, just over a meter in Z. Mm -hmm. And if this isn't big enough, do you go bigger? We do indeed, yeah, we go to 10 meters in X, and I think we can go up to about 3.7 between the columns in mm -hmm. Y. So ATM, it's a big mold shop, but is it just for mold and dye or someone else as well? No, everybody really, for anything from general engineering through to aerospace manufacturing, um, a very versatile machine. So it's, they're getting a lot of bang for their buck with this machine? They are indeed, yeah, very, very good value machine. How do you find selling them? Because you're, you're up against um, brands more recognised in the UK. Yeah. So how, how do you find that? Um, it's tough, but if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. So, um, yeah, we, we've, we, we know we've got a good machine. It's a very robust machine, uh, very accurate, and um, been very reliable as well. That's the thing with Cafo. Everywhere I've been and I've bought one, they've all, they've all said, yeah, I would buy another. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it, it, There will be repeat business coming out of um, the Cafo factory for, for the UK. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully they'll have one here. I'm hoping so, yeah. yeah maybe the back end of this year or early next year.